We are now ready for the last step, which is to add a button to our felt envelope. So I'm going to zoom in here. I am not closing the top flap yet. I'm going to leave it open here and I'll tell you why in just a moment. So let me zoom in here. Okay, I'm at the top of the triangle and I'm going to take my button and put it right about here. Now, the reason that we are using the inside is that we're going to make a little mark and just in case it shows in the final product, um, we want it to be on the underside and not on the outside. Please take your ballpoint pen and just hold the button where you want it and you're going to put a tiny mark at the top and the bottom of the button so that when you take away the button, you can see where it should go. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut the button hole. We're not going to sew on the button yet. We're going to make a hole for it. Now, here's what's important for this process. Since felt and most fabric is just a little bit stretchy, I am not going to cut all the way from point A to point B. I'm just going to cut inside a little ways and we want to cut as small as possible and test it out because we can always cut it bigger a little bit later. What I'm going to do to cut this out is I'm going to fold the fabric where I can still see those marks that I made. I'm going to try to line them up as much as possible. I know you can't quite see through, but I see the dot here and it looks like it's about matched up on the other side. While it's folded over, then you can make just a little snip with your scissors. Okay. Okay, these scissors were uh, sharper at the top. I was having a hard time getting through the fabric uh, at the bottom here, so I had to kind of slide it down. Just make sure you have good control of your scissors that you don't bring them smashing down and cut too big. Okay, so now you can see the slit that I cut. It is not quite to the marks that I made. Now, to make sure that that is correct, we're gonna see if our button fits through, okay? it should be able to fit through with a little pushing. If it just falls through, you probably made your hole a little bit too big and you might need to add some stitches across the top and the bottom to make the hole smaller. But it looks like when I push this through, I have to push a little bit, but it does go through. So my hole is right where it needs to be. Now that we have a hole for the button, it is time to figure out where the button will go. Now, maybe some of you thought that that button gets put on the flap, but actually the button is going to go on the envelope. The only reason it looked like it was on the flap was because it goes through the buttonhole and shows here. So here's what we need to do. You're going to take that triangle that's folded over Go ahead and fold it down onto your envelope. Let me give you a, a backed up view here. Okay, so I fold that over and you can see the slit that we cut a little bit earlier. And again, I'm gonna take my ballpoint pen and I'm going to mark through that hole. So my pen is actually going through the hole I'm going to put a little mark at the top of my hole and the bottom of my buttonhole. And then when I lift that triangle back, now I know exactly where my button needs to go. And before I'm going to sew my button, I need to make sure that my needle and thread are ready. I need to make sure I have a big knot at the bottom of the thread so that it doesn't go through. I'm going to place my button Okay, somewhere between those marks that I made and then I'm going to go up through the back and here's where you need to be careful. You see I am, I have my envelope opened up and I am only going through 
one layer of felt. We are not going to sew through the entire envelope. We're just sewing the button on that top layer. So I'm going to go back through the fabric and here's the part it takes a little bit of uh, guesswork is you want to bring that needle through the fabric and then you'll want it to go through one of the buttonholes. Okay, so my needle has gone through that buttonhole, so I can go ahead and pull my thread through. Okay, and then, just like sewing, we're gonna dive down again, but this time you're gonna dive through one of the holes. So, you have two options. You can either choose the hole right underneath or you can choose the hole um, that is diagonal. I like the crisscross pattern so I'm going to go ahead and dive down through that bottom left hole. Okay, pull my thread and there you can see that button is starting. It is attached but we're going to attach it a little better. <laughs> so. Again, we're going to dive up now. It takes a while to kind of poke around back here to until you figure out where the hole is. Take some guess and check work, but oop. Okay, my needle went through the top hole, a new hole. Pull up my thread. And then this time, I'm going to dive down diagonally into the next hole. Okay, technically our button is, um, is attached, but I like for it to be a little more secure. So I'm going to repeat that step one more time. Start in the same place. Okay, you could do it again if you'd like, but the bare minimum would be going across two times. So now I've got that nice crisscross with the thread and I am ready now that my needle I dived through. So my thread and my needle are inside of my envelope right now. The last thing that you need to do is just tie a knot. So for this part, I like to just kind of get that the rest of that fabric out of the way. Okay, you can kind of almost flip your envelope inside out so that you have a nice clear path to be able to tie your knot. Make sure that you tie three times to make sure it's secure. And here's our finished product. So if you want to end by putting the button through your buttonhole and admiring your work, way to go. So you finished your project. Congratulations. If you have some extra time, you finished a little early, here's what you can do. Um, now that your envelope is finished, you can make some stationery to go inside for people to be able to use to send you messages. So um, you're just going to take one, a piece of newsprint this size, and if you notice, if you fold it in half, it should fit very nicely into your envelope. So feel free to take maybe three or four pieces of newsprint. You can decorate a card on the outside. Um, or if you'd like, you could even cut this in half and just have individual, almost like postcards. Up to you, but I would like to see you decorate, draw some pictures, use this time to get creative and make some really cool stationery so that your family at home has some fun paper to write you messages with.